Has your wife said she wants a divorce and you're not sure what to do? Has everything you've tried so far just failed? Well, brother, you're in the right place. Today I'm going to be covering the three common mistakes that men make when their wife says she wants a divorce, and more importantly, the three steps you need to take when you want to reconcile with your wife. Now, if we haven't met each other before, my name's Luke Finn, and I help dads avoid divorce and re reconnect with their wife. Now, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and smash the bell button to be notified each Tuesday when I release a new training. Now, make sure to stick around to the end of this video to get the opportunity to enroll in my free masterclass. In the masterclass, you're going to get to diagnose your marriage and learn what it's going to take to reconcile when your wife says she wants a divorce, and you're going to learn the secret to reconciling that no one else is talking about. Now, with all that being said, let's dive right in. So first off, let's look at the reasons for why your wife is threatening you with divorce. The first reason is she feels like there's no other way. She feels like she's been unhappy for years. She's tried hinting at, you know, how to improve the relationship, but you weren't aware of it. And now she feels like there's no other way for you to change other than when she says she wants a divorce. So she feels like she has no leverage. Uh, so this is why she starts having these ultimatums. Or the second reason is she literally just wants to move on with her life. She's had enough. She's unhappy in the marriage. Uh, she wants to move on with her life. And she's saying she wants divorce because she's really going to go through with it. And the thing is, guys, when your wife starts threatening divorce, you need to listen to it. Take it seriously. You need to take action. And I'm going to help you with that today. And the thing is, though, guys, when you hear divorce from your wife, there's a couple of mistakes that you can end up making. And I, and I want you to avoid these. And I also want you to share them with me in the comments if you've made these mistakes. And if you've made these mistakes, don't worry, you can still uh, salvage your situation. You can still save your marriage if you've made these mistakes. So the first mistake we make, guys, when our wife says she wants divorce is we start begging and pleading. We say, oh, I realize that the, the mistakes I've made. I realize I was angry, uh, I was disconnected uh, or, or jealous. Uh, all the reasons you're aware of for the problems in the relationship. And you say to her, look, please, just let's not get divorced. We can make this work. And begging or pleading doesn't help, guys, because it's taken her years to get to the point where she's at. And you begging or pleading is just coming across needy and pushing her further away. Or the second mistake we, we make, guys, is we become a show pony. So she's told you that you weren't around for the kids, you weren't around for her. So you get into your head is you need to start doing these things. Uh, what she said was not working. You start trying to do it. So if she told you you weren't around the kids, if you weren't around with the kids, you start showing up and being around with the kids more. Maybe you start cleaning up around the house more, look, doing the household chores, taking her out on dates. You become a show pony, but you're really only taking these actions so that she sees the change. But that's not real change, guys. You're just doing different actions and she feels manipulated and it's just too little too late. So you do not want to become a show pony. Or the third thing is you just become obsessed with signs of hope. She tell, you hear from your mother-in-law that she was talking to her about Christmas and that you guys are going to have Christmas dinner together. Uh, and in the summer, maybe you'll be go or going on holidays. And so you start thinking, oh, wow, she's telling my mother-in-law that. Well, then she's not really set on divorce. Maybe there's still hope. And guys, this isn't useful. Like your wife really has checked out of the marriage. She does want to move on her, with her life without you. But the good news is it is possible to save your marriage by applying a proven process. And I'm going to cover it today with the three steps you need to take to save your marriage. So, and the problem is though, guys, is you've turned into the pursuer. And the pursuer is needy and weak. So you're literally chasing after your wife. She says she wants a divorce. She wants to move on with her life. And you start chasing her, being a show pony, uh, trying to show her that you've changed. And it just is needy and weak. And all it does is you push her further and further away. And that's what you're feeling at the moment, guys. Let me know in the comments. Are you experiencing this with your wife? Everything you've tried so far hasn't worked. And you're starting to get desperate and seeing that it's just not working. Let me know in the comments. And guys, this is completely normal. It's just like you, you haven't known what to do. And I'm going to be sharing with you today the three steps to go save your marriage that my clients uh, apply to go save the marriage. Like my client, Jeremy, when he came into my program, his wife was also threatening divorce. She was talking to divorce lawyers. And guys, within just six weeks of applying, applying my ARC system, she'd done a complete U-turn, checked back into the marriage, and now they're having the most intimate relationship they've had in their 13 years of marriage. So it is possible. Just stick around, and I'm going to cover the three steps that Jeremy covered that you can also cover to go and save your marriage. So these are the three steps, guys, you need to take when you want to save your marriage when your wife threatens a divorce. The first thing is, is you need to heal. You didn't see this coming. This came out of the left field, and you're feeling hurt. You're feeling sad. Maybe you're panicking. 
Uh, or maybe you're getting angry and feeling resentment that your wife is putting you through this and that she's not willing to work on the marriage together. So you're having to save the marriage on your own. And all these feelings, guys, are causing you to act out. If you're feeling panicky, you're trying to start conversations with your wife, get her to talk about the relationship that's just pushing her further, further away. Or if you're feeling anger, you're blowing up at her and it's just pushing her away and she doesn't feel like it's possible to save the marriage. Now, guys, when you're at this phase where you're at, where she's threatened divorce, you're in the phase of cold conflict. This is the path, the, the road to reconciliation, which I've mapped out. I'm going to so link it up above the road to reconciliation. I'll link it up above so you can check out the road to reconciliation. It's the first phase is cold conflict. Now, you're currently in cold conflict, guys where your wife is moving away. She doesn't want to be with you and it's very, very difficult. And this is where most marriages die. This is where most men fail to reconcile with their wife because they don't know how to read the signs and they don't know the path forward to reconcile. So I'm going to put that link up above uh, on how to reconcile that those four phases uh, for a marriage that's going to reconcile. I'll pop it, up, pop it up above. And in this phase of cold conflict, your wife is going to like freeze you out. She's going to not want to talk with you or she's just going to be really angry and she's going to be testing you guys. And this is why it's so important for you to heal. You need to heal that hurt because when she tests you, she's, uh, you need to pass those tests with flying colors, right? So you need to heal that hurt and uh, start showing up as the empowered man that she needs and that she sees that you really have changed. So healing is all about doing the deep inner work. And I'm going to cover that in our masterclass just shortly. So make sure to stick around to the end of this video. The second step that you need to take when you want to save your marriage after she's threatened divorce is you need to rediscover yourself. You need to like get clear on your value as a man. I know it hurts that she doesn't want to be with you and she's threatening divorce. But you, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you're an amazing dad. You're a wonderful man and you love your wife with all your heart. You can save your marriage, but you've got to get clear on who you are and your value as a man. You don't want to be a weak needy man. You want to be a strong, independent, magnetic man that's going to attract her back into the marriage. Now, I covered this, the correct mindset when you want to save your wife, your marriage with your wife when she's threatened divorce in a different video. Uh, I'll link it up above there on the correct mindset that you need to uh, apply to save your marriage and attract your wife back into the marriage after she's threatened divorce. So you've got to get really clear on your value as a man and turn into this strong, magnetic, independent man that's just going to so that, that it's going to attract her back into the marriage. All right. And the third step to save your marriage when she's threatened divorce, guys, is you got to rebuild the emotional safety. Emotional safety is the foundation to any good relationship. Emotional safety allows you and your wife to discuss any problems, any problems in your relationship, to open up, to connect from your heart. And the problem is when you've been acting out, when there's been anger in the relationship, lots of fights, um, or uh, there's just resentment, that basically this emotional safety just gets absolutely eroded. It's completely gone. And this makes you feel like there's a wall between yourself and your wife. And this is really important. If you want to have any chance of saving your marriage, you need to rebuild the emotional safety. And this is done by connecting with your wife from your heart and learning how to talk with her uh, about so sensitive subjects to show, you know, to, so that she gets to see that it's possible to, even on the most difficult uh, subjects, that you guys can work together as a team and resolve them. Now, I've got a communication guide. You can find it down in the description below. You can download it there. It covers the seven steps to rebuild emotional safety and rebuild trust in your marriage uh, when your wife is checked out. And this is the communication guide that you need if you wanna rebuild that emotional safety. So check that out in the description below. So guys, I promised you at the beginning of this video the opportunity to enroll in my free masterclass. Now's the opportunity. So. And the masterclass, you're going to start the healing process to start showing up as the empowered man you need. So you guys can be really excited about this, guys. You're going to really start the healing process so you start showing up as the empowered man she needs. And you're also going to get to learn the secret to reconciling with your wife that no one else is talking about. And finally, I'm going to give you the four steps you need to take for her to see your change. Now, you can find the link to the masterclass and enroll it down in the, the description. So check down below in the description. Enroll in that free masterclass today and start your journey of, of, of reconciling with your wife. And finally, if you haven't done so already, I want to invite you to my marriage support group for dads. This is a free Facebook group filled with amazing dads who are committed to saving the marriage and creating an unbreakable marriage. The link is down below in the description. I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you've got any questions at all, post them down in the comments and let me know guys, has your wife been threatening divorce? And what have you tried so far to reconcile with her? 
And if you found this video valuable, do me a favor, click the like button, subscribe to the channel and smash that bell button to be notified each Tuesday when I release a new video. Now with all that being said, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.